Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Trucker Dom back on the check-in with you. So first of all, you all know like I've been missing in action. I've been gone. I've disappeared. I've done took off on y'all, all that. But um, your boy is back. I took some time off because I have an announcement. So for those of you guys who were really paying attention, a couple videos ago, I said I had a major life event coming up that I had to prepare for. Not many people really caught that when I said it, but um, people have hit me up after the fact saying like, yo, Dom, what's going on? Yo, Dom, where are you? What's up? Like, no content, what's going on? Are you still training? What are you doing? Where are you? Da 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 just that a third. So check this out. You guys are gonna really like this one. So yeah, so my girlfriend and I, we had a son. His name is Preston. He was born on January 24th. Um, I got off the truck late July, mid August. I don't really remember when. Late July, mid August. Pretty sure it was around the time of August. But um, I got off the truck because we decided that it would be better for me to be home for the pregnancy so I could be a part of the pregnancy. And you know, like being that it was our first kid, it only made sense. So I was back home, I was driving buses, and as time came, she got bigger and bigger. You know, we did what we had to do, like appointments and, you know, doctor visits and ultrasounds and all that stuff. And we had our baby. Uh, fast forwarding a couple of months, he was born January 24th, and he came out healthy. Seven pounds, two ounces, 19 and a half inches long, by God's words, he was perfect. He is perfect. Um, I'm a dad. It's, a, it's actually a really nice feeling. Like, I, I don't really know how to put it into words, but like the best term that I've come to grips with is like having a child is like having a part of your heart outside of your body just walking. You know what I'm trying to say? Not walking, but existing because he can't walk yet. But um, it's been a really cool feeling so far. I've had like a ton of people who reached out to me, so there are some people who know, but you know, now you all know. That's where Trucker Don has been. I've been home driving buses, I've been home with my family, and uh, now I'm back outside. So what's happening now? I'm back on the road. I'm with another carrier. I'm still feeling them out. Honestly, like I doubt that I may be here long term. However, I'm just feeling them out at this point. Um, if you guys know, you know. But um, yeah, I'm back on the road. I'm going over the road like before. The only difference is like now I go home. Like, like my home time, like my standing home time is the last weekend of every month. And like my son typically has like his um his checkups at the end of the month. So like his appointments usually fall on the 24th, which like which is basically like his birth date in a sense. So like I'm home like two days before that, and like sometimes I'll spend like two days after that. So typically like four days at a time. And then like if I feel like going home in between, I'll go home in between. But I definitely do have that designated home time to be home with my family. Um, it's different now because you know I was always a grinder and I was always hustling, but it's like now I have something like I have someone to hustle for. So it's just like when I came out here with this carrier. Like, um, I noticed some red flags initially, but I was like, I could, I could weather this. You know what I'm trying to say? I could weather these, these little, these little turbulent times. But like, it came to a point where like, I'm running and I'm steadily out and the truck is not making any money. And like, for those of you guys who know, you guys know that I'm a lease operator. And to me, I thought it was kind of weird that I'm out here and I'm running and I'm driving and I'm pulling freight and the truck is negative. Five hundred dollars, negative eight hundred dollars, negative one thousand dollars. Like, how does that make sense? So, um, I threatened to bring the truck in. I actually did bring the truck in, and uh, one of the uh, ops managers he sat down. With me. I'm, a, I'm a relatively small carrier. One of the ops managers he sat down with me and like we were going over my numbers and my figures and stuff, and I was telling him what my problems were. And he was like, "Let's switch up the contract by getting big percentage of your revenue." So now, like, I'm basically pulling freight for a set rate per mile. And it's cool, like, I've been making money, but it's just, like, the way how I run my truck, I should be able to survive and weather, weather, you know, like, weather poor freight and poor loads. But 
when it comes down to it, like I knew what my issue was. My issue was my dispatcher. You know what I'm trying to say? And I got a new dispatch and I've been making money, but I've been making money on the mileage side. I don't particularly want to run mileage, but it's just like while I'm out here, it's kind of what I have to do at the particular moment in time. But as of right now, we're making money, so I'm making it work. But that's just to fill you guys in. But Trucker Dom is here. We're making content. We're gonna to start to make more content, create more content. So, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend. And uh, comment, like, subscribe, however that algorithm thing goes. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that. Peace.